we're going to talk a little bit about why the standard deviation of the sample mean, or when dealing with samples, what gets called the standard error of the sample mean, why that happens to be sigma over square root of n, okay, or the standard deviations of the individuals, divided by the square root of the sample size. Okay, and to build our way up there, we're going to make use of a few properties. Okay, the first is that the variance of a times x, a being any constant, is equal to a squared times the variance of x. And the second property, the variance of x1 plus x2 is equal to the variance of x1 plus the variance of x2, okay, the sum of their individual variances, if x1 and x2 are independent. Okay. So reminder here, we're thinking about taking the sample mean, right, the mean of x1, x2 up to xn divided by n, and here we're going to assume that xi, okay, each of the x1, x2 up to xn, all have the same mean and the same variance. Right, so this idea of we've taken a random sample of size n from a distribution. So first let's start with the idea of the variance of x bar. Okay, so we're going to get to the standard deviation of the sample mean, but we're going to start by working with the variance because all these properties are expressed in terms of the variance. So first let's write out what this is. The variance of the sample mean, right, is the variance of x1 plus x2 all the way up to xn divided by n. Okay, so all I've done here is write in what is actually the um, sample mean. Okay. I'm going to work through this step by step. Okay, you can probably skip a few of these steps if you like. We can now express this as the variance of 1 over n times x1 plus x2 up to xn. Okay, so I've just taken 1 over n as the constant and put it there. Okay. Then, making use of what I've labeled up there, property A, we can write this as 1 over n squared times the variance of x1 plus x2 all the way up to xn. Right, right so I've just taken the constant out of the variance. Okay. So... I'm going to simplify this to 1 over n squared. Right? 1 squared is 1 over n squared. And then this here, again using the what I've labeled as property B up there, the variance of x1 plus x2 can be written as the variance of x1 plus the variance of x2 if they're independent. Right? And taking this random sample, we assume it's an independent random sample. All of the observations we've randomly selected are independent of one another. So we can write this as the variance of x1 plus the variance of x2 all the way up to the variance of xn. Okay. And now, let me just add this here. Okay. We notice the variance of x1, right? the variance of each of these observations is sigma. Oh, sorry, that's uh, forgot the square there. Sigma squared. Right? Sigma we use to represent standard deviation sigma squared for variance. Okay. So the variance of x1 is sigma squared. The variance for x2 is sigma squared. Okay. All the way up to the variance for the nth observation is sigma squared. Okay. And you'll notice we have this appearing n times right, for each of the x1 up to xn. So we can write this as 1 over n squared times n sigma squared. Right? If we have sigma squared appearing n times, that's n sigma squared. You're going to notice n is going to cancel out with one of these here. Sigma squared over n. Right? Again, a reminder, this here is the variance of the sample mean. So the standard deviation of the sample mean, or sometimes what we write sigma x bar, is the square root of sigma squared over n, which we can write as sigma over the square root of n. Okay, so this is how we get to that formula that the standard deviation, okay, or the standard error for the sample mean is sigma over square root of n. Okay, and just a note, right, when we move into dealing with samples, the, we start to call it the standard error, and we replace the population standard deviation with the sample standard deviation. Okay, but that's how we got to that formula um, that we've seen previously. 
Hope you guys liked the video. Stick around, guys, because we got lots more. Statistics is almost as yummy as chocolate.